What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mitch Fit. Back at you with a, another video. You feel me? Uh, Just coming back from the gym, like always. You know what I'm saying? Sweaty. But we're going to get this video done. You feel me? Um, Let's get straight into it. You know, I don't like to do a lot of talking around the block. Let's get straight into it. So we back into the... We back into the fig community world. We back into the back on fig world. We back into the no jumper universe. You feel me with this one? Let's talk about the back on fig smack T Rail interview over the phone interview with the one and only Charleston White. Wow. This one, it was a bit strange for me. It was a bit strange for me. I see what they doing. I see Smack is is super cool with, with, with Charleston White. You know, we call him, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, 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 um. And, and Charleston White call him nephew. Yeah, Smack nephew, uh, nephew, you know, because I guess they got, you know, a relationship jumping on live on Instagram with each other and just Smack just being a fan of Charleston White. Now, I'm going to tell y'all what I know about Charleston White. I'm from Texas. I was born in Fort Worth. Where's Charleston White from? Fort Worth, Texas. I got family in Fort Worth. My wife also has family in Fort Worth, right? So, I know Charleston White when he was Charleston White with the, with the, with the locks. Charleston White with the dreads, you feel me? When he had hair, you know, uh... I remember Charleston White's first video um, that wasn't the the councilman Charleston White. The I mean, not the councilman, but like going up to the councilman and and trying to trying to uh, youth advocate, you know, for these juveniles or whatnot. I remember his first video. I remember him going at the the uh, the 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 gang bangers, the gang members in uh, Fort Worth. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I remember when he was in the car throwing bullets in the car, throwing bullets in the car, you know what I'm saying? Talking about uh, what he going to do if they run up on him or whatnot. I remember that. That's the first time I seen him. And the first time I seen him, I was like, who is this dude? He entertaining, but who is this dude? You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy to see where Charleston White's at right now to where he uh, having conversations with Mayweather. Uh, he's on, on these big networks. He's even when I saw him on Say Cheese, I was like, damn, you know? So that's crazy already, you know? And now he's like, Psh, what do I got this seatbelt on? I'm in the car. I mean, I'm stopped. But uh, now you see him on interviews with Cam Newton. So, you know, this is all just crazy. So to see him on Back on Fig, that was fly, you know? That was fly. But I do have some uh, some problems with it, too, you know? So they were, uh, I saw them on their little, uh, whatever you hell you call it, you know what I'm saying? The little poster or whatever. Um, they said, Charleston White's going to be here. You know what I'm saying? Charleston White. At first of all, I, I looked and I said, God damn, it's April 1st. So this got to be an April Fool's joke, you know, because ain't no way Charleston White is coming to California uh, and going to be on live to where everybody knows where he's at, you know. Unless he got some 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 crazy security with him, you know. Let everybody knows where, know where he's at and be there for hours. You get what I'm saying? I was like, nah, hell no, nah, this ain't happening. So I'm watching the beginning. They say, oh no, this is April Fool's joke, April Fool's joke. But Charleston White actually calls in, right? So when Charleston White at first calls in, you know, he going at it with Terrell because Terrell has something to say about the way Charleston White was talking about Gilly's, uh, Gilly's saying, Gil fuck Gilly's son, which Gilly's son is deceased. I think uh, he was part of a group called Mac and Cheese. I think they call him Mac, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, he passed away due to violence, you know, street violence. So first thing Charleston White say, you know, so first thing T-Rail gets him, get at him about is, why you say fuck Gilly's son? You know, and his whole thing was, hey, bruh, 
you know, when when I'm beefing with somebody, it's fuck everything. It's fuck your daughter, fuck your fuck your mama, fuck your uh, fuck your kid. You know, whether they hear or not. You know what I'm saying? And Smack agreed to that. Now, me personally, I kind of sad to say, like I kind of agree only because I've done it before. I'd be a hypocrite to say that I don't agree that it's fuck everything you love when it's up like that. You get what I'm saying? Because um, in my younger years, you know what I'm saying? Not that I'm just that much old, but in my younger years, you know, when I wasn't, when I didn't logically think and I didn't think before I act, you, you know, before I acted, um, I was into it with this dude, you know what I'm saying? And uh, the dude actually came to my house so he came to my house, but I wasn't there, you know, um, I just, he knew I wasn't there at the time too. So I came to the, so he banged on the door. He went on live on, on, on at Facebook at the time, went on live on Facebook, banged on my door, boom, boom, boom. Hey, come out, come out, man. come out. You know what I'm saying? Did all of the, the whole nonsense, you know what I'm saying? So it looked like I was scary, right? So that pissed me off. So I'm like, I'm about to make him come to me again. You get what I'm saying? Cause he gonna, you know what I'm saying? He gonna feel these, you know, these are my younger years. I don't think like this, you know, no more. Y'all, I'm just talking, you know what I'm saying, in the past. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm gonna make him come to me. So I told him, hey, I was, fuck everything. Fuck your mama. Your mama did this. Fuck your kids. Your kids did this. Your kids room smell like this. Like, fuck your, this and that. I was doing that, you know what I'm saying? But my whole approach to that was this fuck everything you love. I'm gonna piss you off enough to really come see me. And the end of that end of that story, he didn't come see me, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. So it didn't work, you know. But I get it. That's my whole point of that. I get it, I get it, I get it. You know what I'm saying? But um I think Charleston White is old enough to know like that's full of shit. Like we shouldn't be doing that to each other. These rappers do it to each other all day. Uh smoking on your dead your dead people, uh this, this and the third. Like, man, that shit is detrimental to the black community. Only because, you know what I'm saying, why you why do you want to promote violence? Why do you want to talk about um people that passed away due to this violence? Like it's not, you know what I'm saying? That it's if we want to progress, we gotta stop doing it ourselves that's you first stop with yourself and then you promote it to others you know what i'm saying hey man you you know i don't even think that's fire you get what i'm saying but when you're doing it you're making it look cool and then the kids are already doing it you know what i'm saying you're supposed to like t Row was telling them you're supposed to be an elder you know with an elder you got to show different you know what i'm saying and the way you show different is you lead by example so i get it i get t Row's position uh charleston white's position is smacked with and Smack's position is a little, uh, it's immature, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? We supposed to be promoting to these kids, do better. You feel me? Especially y'all motherfuckers is old as hell. Promote, do better. You get what I'm saying? I get it's entertainment, but goddamn, like, you know, lead by example. But the part that made me super uncomfortable with the whole over the phone thing, with the whole over the phone thing, is smack sitting on the phone with this dude sitting on the phone with charles the white yeah Unc. <laughs> yeah get him get him get him and charleston white states fuck nipsey hustle states fuck slim 400 now now smack always talks about how cool he was with slim 400 that's my brother. He's been to my house. I know his real name. I this, this, and that. He's the reason why sometimes um, Smack say Pyru, P-I-R-U, Pyru. You know what I'm saying? He represented for his brother. You get what I'm saying? Even though he's not even from that side. Which, which you know, whatever. Represented for your brother. But ain't no way I'm going to sit on the phone with no man. Nothing. Talking about fuck my dad, homie. Or fuck my homeboy, period. Zero. Zilch. Like that ain't we not cool no more. I ain't gotta necessarily get at you because I'm a grown ass man. That's like, that's like my 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 grandma. She's not here anymore. You know what I'm saying? My cousin Trayvon, he's not here anymore. That's like you personally saying like, I'm talking to you. I'm I'm befriending you. I'm calling you unk. You know what I'm saying? Which which uh, that means your family. And you say fuck Trayvon to me. Like. 
we're not friends no more. I, like, to my face, I might actually put hands on you. You know what I'm saying? I might actually just not, like, all that logical thinking shit might just go out the window. You know what I'm saying? To my face. But, like, even, like, over the phone or, or even if you're in another state, we cannot be cool anymore. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to necessarily touch you, but, like, we don't, we can't be cool. Like, I, and Smack is sitting on that phone laughing. And keep in mind, like, the Fig Mutity boys, they my, they my boys. Like, I, I rocks with them, I rocks with them more than No no Jumper, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not a big fan of Brick Baby. I rocks with DW. And then Adam, y'all should know how I feel about Adam, so, you know. Uh, but I'm just like, ain't no way. Ain't no way. Now, Smack's uh, rebuttal to that. Now, I got to play devil advocate to even my opinion. He says, these things are just words. You know what I'm saying? These things are just words, which is true. He said, we learn at an early age that sticks and stones. You know what I'm saying? Sticks and stones. So I'm like, sticks and stones. You know, it's true. You know, because people get killed over words. People get p killed over saying the wrong thing. We saw that example with the No Jumper universe when um, DW used a derogatory term for a cigarette. That could have went left. You get what I'm saying? Just with words, you know. Uh, so I kind of understand. Smack is maturing, so I, I kind of understand. Maybe I'm just immature. You get what I'm saying? Because ain't no way. Ain't no way. Maybe I, I need some growing to uh, growing to do that way because ain't no way in hell I'm gonna sit there and let you talk about my dad's family member period you know what I'm saying I don't even I don't necessarily gotta you know what I'm saying do something physical to you uh uh assault you or no shit like that but ain't no way I'm gonna sit there and laugh with you and you saying fuck my peoples my dead peoples at that you know um T-Rail and uh and Charleston got into it, you know what I'm saying? They was just, but to to be honest, you could tell in T. Rail's voice that he wasn't even taking it seriously. He wasn't even taking it seriously. He's like, shit, I said go viral, but not that viral because he wasn't taking it seriously. He was just talking shit. He was just really shooting the shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why he, when he say, uh, tell Charles to wife, fuck your daughter. I hope your daughter get hit by a bus. You know what I'm saying? He was just fucking around. He, they were just going back and forth shooting the shit because that's how Charleston White uh that's the character that charleston white puts on you know what i'm saying um there's a video actually of charleston white this is uh before he got as big as he did um in my wife's aunt's church cussing out a lady like <laughs> just going left he like sitting in the church against a lady messing with him he said i'm trying to visit the church and the bitch keep fucking with me it went viral you get what i'm saying so Charleston White explaining that the character he puts on, he learned from Dolomite, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he gets that people gravitate to negativity. You know what I'm saying? He understands that people gravitate to negativity. When you try to be positive and try to uh, preach to people and try to say whatever you got to say, um, the positive way and the right way, people don't listen. You know, he gets that people gravitate to negativity. Like, if it's some negative shit going on, you'll most likely pay attention to it. You get what I'm saying? See, that's even, like, on YouTube, like, as far as, like, that YouTube algorithms or whatnot. You put something positive as the fucking caption to your, to your uh, video on YouTube, motherfucker won't watch it, to be honest. They won't watch it. You know what I'm saying? But you put something crazy... Uh, such and such said this, uh, such and such said that. And people will gravitate because people will click something negative or something spicy before they click something that's positive. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's just how the media works. That's just how life works. You get what I'm saying? And I think he figured it out, you know? Um, and everybody keeps saying about Charleston White, uh, somebody going to run up to him and do this, run up to him and do that do this and do that i gotta admit this about charleston he is about everything he talking about you run up on him you get what you get he, he probably gonna pepper spray you he might pop you you know what i'm saying he go he got a weapon on him at all times the boy you know the man is not here for play play 
you know, he remind me of like an old school, like, like, like a, like a old, them old school dudes was dangerous. You know what I'm saying? You don't just run up on Charleston White trying to have a conversation. You get what I'm saying? So, and he's going to tell on you too. And he might tell on you too. So that's a, that's a double-edged sword. You know what I'm saying? But I want to know, before I get out of here, I want to know what y'all think about, uh, that Charleston White phone interview they had on uh, back on Fig. Do you think uh, T-Rail went about it the right way, just fucking with him, just shooting the shit with him? You know what I'm saying? Do y'all think, what do y'all think about, most importantly, what y'all think about Smack being on the phone with him while he's saying, fuck people that he's close to that are, that are deceased and he's sitting there laughing with him. Do y'all think that he's right when he says sticks and stones may hurt my bones and that is just words? Or do y'all think that he should have been cool with that or he should have stopped him and, and, and let him know something? Y'all let me know. Hey, and before I go, please like, like, like. Hey, and most importantly, subscribe because we trying to make them subscribers go that way. You feel me? Mitch Fit, I'm out.